I see you're looking at a little problem. A little bag. Mary, you knew the problem was incorrect. Why didn't you say anything? Frank says I'm not supposed to correct older people. Yeah, so of course here, the uh, she's right. The problem is, you know, I don't know that I'd say it's unsolvable if there's a, not a minus sign there or the minus sign is missing. What I would say is that integral diverges if there's not a minus sign there. And that's, that's pretty clear because the function doesn't even have zero as a limit as X approaches infinity, which is required for that type of integral to converge. Um, that being said, this integral that she's asked to evaluate, it's essentially the, it's essentially the Gaussian integral, which is like a standard calculus three problem. Now, would this be given to some sort of would-be child genius? I don't really think so because perhaps the, the child has already studied this kind of thing and just knows the trick already. I think uh, probably a better test for if someone is a mathematical genius, whatever that means, would be to give them some sort of innovative problem that maybe doesn't come from something you would learn in a standard a college class, which is what's going on here. You would give them something that's like really tricky that, that either uses uh, ideas together from a couple of different branches of math, or maybe isn't really mathematics problem at all. Maybe it's more of like a logical problem. That being said, I think the scene is pretty good. Um, I wish I could see exactly the steps that she's using to solve or to evaluate this integral, I should say. She's drawing like all of these graphs, which are not super necessary here. As if you've seen this, you just do a substitution into polar variables. Okay, so uh, maybe if you like this, tell me what else you'd like me to react to in the comments.